Most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living and retirement having. What we have learned is what professions do and don't earn a quality living. We also know that there are people who get paid to do things, but they really don't get paid to do anything other than drive around a community. A law enforcement officer's job is to traffic nobody, and yet they traffic information all day long. When I had a stint and a stay in jail because of a sibling's lie of her rights to abuse me, or was it someone in the community who thought they'd be amusing to me, that openly I had an officer who I didn't know who was trying to change my driver's license and provide information that no one needed to know. The liars of America think they're in charge of our certifications, think they're in charge of our birth certificates, and basically they stole those from me in that jail. I had two bags that I went to a jail with that were my property bags, mainly full of religious items and clothing items that I had inherited. Belt buckles that were one of a kind and very difficult to find, openly a dragon belt buckle, a eagle belt buckle, a peace belt buckle, and several others that were mine, a may the force be with you belt buckle that belonged to my late father. But the liars in that force liked my property so much that they kept it all. I had a leather pouch full of prayer cards and whatnot that belonged to my faith practice. I had ten necklaces that were unique and special to me, and those were stolen. I had a Japanese netsuke that has a high-value dollar, and I had a small Buddhist that was a part of my prayer list. But openly they took my pants and my britches and my books and my 27 thumb drives along with my life insurance policy that had private information on it that did not belong to them, and my driver's license was gifted to me, but my bank cards were not returned to me. Those two bags were the only things that I was carrying with me that day. A reporter, Mike Ahern, who's a famous man in Indianapolis, and his wife Sherry kept my other things, my other bag and my other property. But I've tried now for more than a year to reach them and I can't get through to them, and I can't get my property back. That's the lie that they told me. I wasn't able to call them to let them know what happened out of my court situation because the liar in that sheriff's department not only stole a brand new religious book on paganism that I purchased, but also stole my journal, which had information on my life insurance, phone numbers, my contact information for Sherry and Mike Ahern, the world-famous reporter that was struggling in his own indigency from whatever happened to his wife and family, but openly they were concerned about the loss of their son. But they were trying to help me that day, and none of us expected that I'd be there for three months. The liars of the force are among us. The liars are the ones who are abusing our American flag. Every community wants to change the American flag to represent them, and the bottom line is they're stupid about America so stupid that they're ruining our marketing of America. You see, the American flag is the marketing logo of America. And that flag has three colors for a reason. I've said this many times, and I've said this every time and every season, that the American flag should be left alone. Sure, we've got those ACL folks that think that people should be able to burn the flag in protest. Great. But as a result, what do we got? derelicts who don't American, who don't like America, foreigners who hate America, and openly they want to come to America so they can play in America, they can lay in America, and they can stay in America, but they don't belong here. They weren't brought up here. They aren't citizens of here, but they lie here. And American citizens who've been here since the Mayflower and before are pretty pissed off about this and more. We don't need the Hatfields and the Klans. We don't need the whites versus blacks. We don't need the Indians versus the Mexicans. We don't need people teaching people to be Muslim. What we need here is American citizens to remember what American army, military, in other words, Air Force and Marines, are dying for. To safeguard American citizens from the illness of foreign countries that have failed to produce new societies, failed to produce new policies, failed to produce healthy minds in their children and failed to produce a protection of peace for the world. 